Hi, I am Moisir and I'm here to talk about the router transformation on Informatica data quality. I'm going to talk a real, real quick about the router transformation, how to work with groups and ports, and at the end of the video I'm going to show you how to build your own mapping using the router transformation and Informatica developer. Basically, what do we have about the router transformation? It is an active transformation. It routes data into multiple transformations or into different data pipelines. Uh, it works pretty much like a filter transformation because both transformations use a condition to test data, but a filter transformation will test data and based on that condition, it will drop part of the, the data. On the router transformation instead, we're gonna split the data into multiple paths under the mapping. It does use the concept of groups. Basically, we're gonna have one input group that is the input data and can have multiple output groups, at least two of them. working po with ports. Um, it's pretty much like any other transformation where you're gonna have the port name, data type, precision scale, and here on the routing transformation you can have a, a default value if the um, to be used or pass it through if the data is new. Okay, so I'm going to show you real quick how to build a mapping using this kind of transformation. Basically, I have an empty mapping here. I'm going to import, I'm going to put the employees table as read. So basically, on this table, I'm going to have some different columns. And I'm going to add a router transformation. Let me get the router transformation. Okay, here it is. I'm going to call it router department because that's what I'm going to change here. I'm going to put all this information as input data going to properties and here on properties we have basically the same as other transformations we can change the data on the ports we can change the name we can add the default value as I mentioned it before but here is where the magic begins we're gonna insert one group which I'm gonna call group tap 90 I'm gonna add one condition here that will change the department ID not change but will filter the department ID where it is equal to 90 but to for the next step, I'm going to add two sort transformations. I could use any any other transformation. I'm just adding the sorter transformation so we can um, preview the data. Okay. I'm going to collect the information. I'm going to get only first name and department ID from this from the first output group. I'm going to call it sorter 90 and I'm going to do the same for the other router group. I'm also adding a sorter. I'm going to get the first name and department ID just to show you. Okay, so let's preview data. Okay, I just ran the preview data on my source, 
my search data object and as you're gonna see we have a lot of rows here but we we have different values for department ID okay so the next step I'm gonna show you is the output or the preview data after the router the, the router transformation hold on a second okay so basically on this first sorter we have only Lex, Nina and Steve all of them from department 90 and if you, we run the data viewer on the other sorter we're gonna have everyone else here so basically that's how to use the router transformation. You can improve the filter conditions using any any sort of supported expression to filter the, um, the group conditions. You're gonna have several functions that you guys are probably use it to to have on your mappings. Okay. So that's it for now. Thank you very much and see you guys next time.